Hello Scholars! Today, I wanted to make a video that was less scripted than my normal videos, to respond to a question I received on one of my previous videos, and to show some of the research process I use while researching your questions and the videos that I make. The question I received was on my Codex Beze video, and I'll read it here. This question is from A. Clark, and they ask, I've recently been researching Jesus slash Yeshua's words at the Last Supper, dealing with the word covenant. In the Codex Beze, did he use the words blood of the new covenant, or just the words blood of the covenant in Matthew 26, 28, Mark 14, 24, Luke 22, 19, B through 20? And then goes on to say that in Marcion, the word new is added in brackets in the text, indicating that the word new was added. This is also reflected in the marginal notes on these verses. So this is a good question, uh, and it's very correct that in the oldest and the best manuscripts that we have, like the Sinai Codex and uh, Codex Alexandrinus, both of which I've covered on this video, they don't have the new in New Covenant. They only have uh, blood of the covenant in Matthew and Mark. Both of those also, in Luke 22:19b through 20, do have blood of the New Covenant. So the New is currently believed to be original in Luke 22, but believed to be added as a later edition in Matthew and Mark. So I was interested to look at this for Codex Beze. Codex Beze is a Western-type manuscript, so we can expect more intentional or theological changes uh, in it as well as more acceptance or tolerance of unintended changes or scribal errors. So let's go over to Codex Beze. I'm also going to open up a tab that has this interlinear text for Matthew 26, which is where I'm going to be starting. So I reach this point in Matthew just by going to the end of the book and then clicking back until I found something that I recognized. And here I see kai labon ta poterion, and having taken a cup, which we can also see matches here in Matthew 26, so we know that we're in the right region. And now we can just read down until we find this reference to covenant. So, kalabon to poterion, so taking the cup, kai eucharistasen, giving thanks. So we can go down a little bit. Tuto gar estin, this is ta aimamo, my blood, the blood of me. And then here we go. Tes kaines diathekes, and that's of the new covenant. Kaines means new in Greek, diathekes is covenant. So we see that in Matthew, Codex Beze does have the kaines, which this is what we'd expect from a Western text type manuscript, that there would be more textual harmonization, where the scribes wanting to make it the text match between Matthew, Mark, and Luke in the Last Supper. So for completeness, I also checked over in Mark, using the same process to get here where starting at the end of Mark and then scrolling back until I reach the Last Supper. And you can see here the same words. Kai labon ta poterion, and taking the cup. Eucharistesas, and giving thanks. Edoken autois, he gave it to them. And then let's see, scrolling down here. Tuto, there should, there's a Omicron missing here. Uh, tuto is this, estin is. Ta'aimamo, this is my blood. Uh, tes diathekes, uh, of the covenant. So here we just have of the covenant, not of the new covenant, which is interesting. So Matthew, he says, this is my blood of the new covenant. Uh, tes kaines diathekes. In Mark, we have just blood of the covenant. Uh, just uh, tes diathekes, no kaines, no new. So I was about to leave it there and just respond with that, but fortunately I did a little bit more research and I just looked up Luke just for completeness. So I'll flip to there on the manuscript and in my interlinear text. So we have here a kai labon and taking, so we should be pretty familiar with this beginning by now. Uh, arton, so this is arton is bread. So we're a little bit uh, before where we need to be, but that's okay, we can just read through. Uh, Eucharistesas, and giving thanks. Eklasen, he broke it. Kai edoken autois, and gave it to them. Legon, saying, Tutos estin, this is. Tasomamo, my body. But then look what we have here. Plain ido, that's but behold. Ekhair, the hand. To paradidontas, 
of the betrayer me of the betrayer me. So look at this. We we have a skip here from and it's easier to see in the interlinear version. So we have all the way down here to this is my body, to toastin tasoma mo. And then we skip down to plain ido. Uh, but behold, to paradidontas. And then it continues on with the betrayer. So that's extremely interesting that in Codex Beze, Luke 22 is just missing the second half of verse 19 and all of verse 20. So all of the uh, which is given for you about Jesus' body, and then no mention of uh, the covenant of his blood being poured out, uh, no mention of blood or covenants at all in Luke's Last Supper, which is really interesting. Uh, that that verse is just skipped entirely. That's very much not what we would expect uh, from, really, from any text type, but especially not of a Western text type, where we would be expecting more harmonization, more uh, similarity between Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Certainly not this less similarity of having this second this reference to the cup taken out. So this certainly raises some questions about why. I did some research on this, and it seems like there's no definitive answers. I have uh, some theories. I think, um, really, from what I see, I could imagine that there are two uh, most likely possibilities that I uh, can think of. The first off is that it could just be a mistake. You know, the scribe could have been tired. Maybe it was a long day of copying, uh, you know, the rest of the books that were before this, and now he's getting to the end of Luke. Uh, and Luke is different in the Last Supper. Luke has two mentions to the cup. Uh, if we scroll up in here, Jesus first uh, takes the cup and uh, gives thanks for it and then says, you know, divide this among yourselves. I won't drink from it again until I drink it in the kingdom of God. And uh, then after he takes the bread, then he takes the cup again. So it's possible that the scribe saw that he would already written about the cup once and then about the bread and then just assumed, ah, oh, we're done with the cup and just moving on. Alternatively, it could have been an intentional or a theological change that Jesus had already taken the cup once in Luke and the scribe or the scribes from whatever previous manuscript where this change was first made felt that to have him take the cup twice would just present too much friction, too, much, too many differences with the previous books and decided to simply drop that part. This is really interesting. I think uh, it's certainly worth thinking about, but also I think it's understandable that uh, this is, knowing that this is a Western text type manuscript, that there's more, that there was more latitude given to scribes as far as what was allowed and what was expected in terms of the accuracy. And also that Codex Beze in general is a, uh, with air quotes, weird manuscript, that there are uh, multiple changes like this that kind of set it apart from other manuscripts and even from other Western text type manuscripts. So I hope you enjoyed looking at this together. I hope that this was helpful for you. And please, if you have any questions, please ask them whether it's on this video or on any other video. I, I love talking about the Bible. I love doing research like this. And I would really enjoy hearing your thoughts, whether it's on this topic or on any other topic, uh, and being able to look into that together. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you again on the next Manuscript Spotlight.